In this proof of concept video, a specific restriction bypass attack against a vulnerable Apple iOS version is demonstrated. iOS allows to set different restrictions for supervised devices that are enrolled in a mobile device management solution. Those restrictions may affect iOS functionality, apps or media content. For instance, on a company device using device enrollment, it is possible to enforce certain restrictions in order to separate company from private data. In such a test scenario, our senior IT security consultant Philipp Buchegger found out that it is possible to bypass the copy and paste restriction, namely opening documents from managed to unmanaged apps not allowed, via the quick look functionality, which enables a user to copy files from a company profile to a private profile. We have reported this security issue to Apple via our Sys Security Advisory Sys 2020-11. In the following screen recording, a successful restriction bypass attack is demonstrated on a managed iPhone with the vulnerable iOS version 13.3.1. Here you can see the enabled restrictions regarding this iOS device. The last restriction shown is the one we can simply bypass. An email with an attached PDF document was received in the native mail app via a managed exchange profile. On this managed and restricted device, copying this document is not possible via the offered actions. But via tap and hold on the PDF document, the quick look menu opens which provides the share action. By opening the share dialog, the user can now copy the document which was not permitted in the previous view. Now the copied PDF file in our example can be pasted in any private app context, for example in files, and further used without restrictions. Of course, the copied document can now also be synced to cloud services, for instance iCloud, which is not allowed on this iOS device for all managed apps. Apple does not consider the demonstrated restriction bypass to be a security vulnerability and has not fixed it yet.